Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll explain how to invoke Sparrow agent from uh, API, and I'll use uh, web browser uh, to show uh, fast API. <clears throat> uh, basically, like uh, the back window from where we can test uh, API request, which uh, is being executed by fast API, and then it uh, being sent to Sparrow for the uh, for the processing. Okay, so uh, API uh, can be started in Sparrow for each agent. Uh, at the moment, I'm running instructor agent, and uh, it runs by default on port 8000. Uh, if you want to start multiple agents, uh, API for multiple agents at the same time, for the second agent, you can specify different ports, and then it will work just fine. And you access uh, API through uh, this uh, Sparrow uh, slash LLM, Sparrow minus LLM uh, path and docs in this case, then you load, uh, you can load uh, uh, API tester in the browser. And this uh, endpoint called LLM inference, and this is the endpoint which works with uh, uh, instructor agent uh, by the way, there's another endpoint called LLM ingest. This endpoint works with uh, such agents like Llama index or uh, unstructured. And uh, this endpoint is required to pre-process data into the vector store, which will be later used during inference. Uh, instructor agent doesn't need to uh, ingest that because you can execute the query just uh, in one go. Okay, and uh, inference uh, request uh, goes uh, as post, and on the request body, you can specify a few things like uh, fields. Uh, so the fields, those are names of the uh, fields that you would like to extract from the document. Then we get types. Uh, types, uh, it's like one-to-one -one, uh, with uh, field names, and each type describes the type of the field. In case if you use uh, Sparrow parse, then all the fields with the list type will be automatically processed by Sparrow parse. Uh, this option uh, to make sure that if you, in some case, in, for certain fields you don't want to be processed by Sparrow parse, then you can replace list with array. And if uh, name array will be uh, uh, identified, then this field will be processed by instructor, uh, by instructor, and it will be processed by LLM. Okay, so then we, we specify the name of the agent, instructor in this case. There are no keywords. The property keywords is being used uh, for the case when Sparrow parse is being used and uh, you want to pass a list of uh, fields that you expect to be uh, in, in the table that we are processing. So uh, this way it will be for Sparrow parse, it will be easier to filter out junk fields uh, or not required fields from uh, from the table that will be processed by Sparrow Parse. In this case, uh, this is empty, and we don't uh, we're not using any ingest uh, step here, so we don't have index, and we want to use Sparrow Parse functionality. And as as soon as we specify tables option, this means Sparrow Parse will be invol uh, involved, and we are using unstructured library to. Uh, prepare uh, or convert data from raw PDF into the uh, uh, HTML table, and then Sparrow Parse will fetch data from HTML table. We're using group by rows to, gr to do uh, row grouping for the result set, and update targets true in this case, uh, and because the sample document contains just one table, so it doesn't matter, but uh, if you would have multiple tables per page, then uh, if you change it to false, this means uh, the same field uh, will be retrieved twice uh, from, if the same field is in, in both tables, then it will be fetched, the values for this field will be fetched from the first and fr from the second table. If the value is true, then the only once, uh, one time the values will be fetched for, the, for this field, let's say from the first table, and uh, then as soon as we locate the values, then it will not try to fetch uh, values for the same field from another table, even if the same column exists in the second table. And the last option is the file. The file actually we are uh, processing and we want to extract data. And then as soon as we execute, 
then this is the uh, example of actual uh, API request being sent to the server. And when you are not testing, but when you're executing actual production request from your API client, you can execute exactly the same uh, requests from the client as you can see here from the tester and request will work. This is the request URL, Sparrow LLM inference. And this is the response. So those three fields are retrieved uh, by LLM and the rest retrieved uh, by Sparrow Parse. So this, this is the same example like I was showing in my previous video and the same uh, API, the same request was executed from command line. And if you look briefly into the code on the Sparrow, there's an API script where uh, fast API application starts. And this is where inference endpoint is defined with all the properties that you saw in the tester UI. And from this endpoint, we are calling run from API engine method. And this method is available under engine script. And here it does some uh, necessary preprocessing, let's say. And then it calls from Rack uh, interface class, it calls uh, run pipeline generic method and depending on which agent we are using now then uh, this code for the agent will be executed as uh, as expected so thanks for watching and this was a video where i explain and show how sparrow can be used from a fast api endpoint and it's not limited to command line invocation only thanks and see you next time bye